We're talking about division of rational numbers in this unit, Algebra 1, number 2.6d. This is division of n reciprocals. And pairs of numbers whose product equals 1 are reciprocals. We learned that in the last video. We know we can subtract a rational number by adding its inverse. So if you remember from video 2.4b, if we have 10 minus a negative 4, we can subtract a negative 4 by adding its inverse, adding its opposite. So instead of 10 minus a negative 4, we do 10 plus 4. See? We add its opposite, and the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. It's its opposite across 0. So we know we can do that. We can also divide by a rational number by multiplying its reciprocal. So for all rational numbers, a and b, as long as b is not 0, a over b is going to equal a over 1 times 1 over b. See? It'll be 1 times a over 1 times b. It'll be a over b. Think of it this way. If a and b instead were a 2 and a 5, it's saying for the 2 and the 5, for the a and the b, a over b, 2 over 5, is going to equal 2 over 1 times 1 over 5. And it does, because 2 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 5 is 5. It's 2 over 5, see? But remember, the 0 has no multiplicative inverse. It's got no reciprocal, so we can't divide by 0. All right? It's, it won't work. So we can rewrite each division problem as a multiplication problem and then solve it. If we have negative 6 divided by 5, it's going to become negative 6 times 1 fifth. See, 5 can be written as 5 over 1, so its reciprocal is 1 fifth. That's how we got the 1 fifth. So now we just multiply negative 6 over 1 times 1 fifth. We go straight across. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. 1 times 5 is 5. We got negative 6 over 5. See? And if we've got x plus 4 over a 7, and yes, they can be written this way, it becomes x plus 4, and we put that in parentheses, times 1 seventh. See? Because this is saying x plus 4 divided by 7. See? Because fractions are just little division problems. Well, this 7 is 7 over 1, so the reciprocal is 1 seventh. We flipped it around, see? And we need the parentheses right here because we want to make sure that it's understood that we're not doing x plus 4 divided by 7, see? Which would be 4 over 7. We want to make sure that everyone knows that it's x plus 4, and then we're multiplying it or dividing it by 1 seventh or 7, see? So those parentheses are very important. What if we have a negative 12 over 1 over b? And yeah, you can have a fraction of a fraction. Well, this is going to become negative 12 times b. Now, how did that happen? Well, this means negative 12 divided by 1 over b. That's what this means. It's a division problem. The reciprocal of 1 over b would be b over 1. Well, b over 1 is b. It would be like... 5 over 1 would be 5, right? So now we just end up with a multiplication problem of negative 12 times b. See? And if we have 3 eighths divided by a negative 1 fourth, it becomes 3 eighths times negative 4 over 1. We flipped the numerator and the denominator, see? So when we're doing division in algebraic equations, sometimes we multiply a reciprocal by a reciprocal, and sometimes we divide directly. When we have fractions, we multiply by a reciprocal. When we have decimals, we divide directly. By multiplying by the reciprocal with fractions, it's easier for us, okay? So if we've got 7 fifths divided by negative 8 thirds, all we have to do is flip this around so it's negative 3 eighths, and now we can just multiply straight across. And we get 7 times 3 negative 3 is a negative 21, and 5 times 8 is 40, so we've got negative 21 fortieths, see? So by multiplying by the reciprocal, it was a lot easier than dividing. But when we have decimals, like negative 21.6 divided by negative 3, we can write it as a fraction like this, like a little division problem. 3 goes into 21 7 times, 3 goes into 6 2 times. We put our decimal point, we've got 7.2. And because these are both negative, we get a positive. We divide decimals directly. Now, if you're still confused, see this video's description for links to more videos about this topic, okay? And maybe by watching those videos 
that are linked in the description, it'll help you understand what we were just talking about, and then maybe you can rewatch this one, okay? But hopefully if you've been following along and you've been subscribing and you've been watching each video, you have no problems understanding what we're talking about because we cover a little bit of this in each video, okay? Good luck, keep trying, and I'll see you next time. Bye.